Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Mackenzie and today I'm going to be doing a little room haul slash tour. Also, don't judge me, I'm having a bad hair day part, what video is this, five? Part five of having bad hair day. When I moved back with my parents, I ended up keeping a lot of my decorative pillows and my bedding in storage for when I go back down because I already had a lot of it here at my house. Um, so the only thing I really brought back when I moved back was my comforter and then the two shams that came with my comforter just to put something on top because my old comforter that was already in my childhood room was starting to rip. So we ended up throwing that away and I ended up taking my comforter home with me. I'm gonna insert a little clip here of what my room looked like before I added anything to it. So here it is. So yeah, it was super, super plain, um, kind of sterile in a way, like it wasn't comfortable space. So I ended up deciding that I wanted to decorate it a little more. I didn't want to go overboard because I am moving back to the bay eventually, so I wanted to keep it pretty neutral and keep things pretty light. So if I do decide to bring it with me to the bay when I move back, it'll be an easy transition instead of having to haul a million different things with me. So let's get started on what I bought and where I bought it. I'm going to try and find all the things in here online some things are from home goods so that obviously will not have a link but i think some of it is also from target so i will link that i've actually been using some of this stuff already it's been probably a month since i first started grabbing things so we'll start with what i first got and then move through the process um when I first came here, I was like, oh, I want big decorative pillows. My best friend actually had some on her bed and I was like, oh my gosh, where'd you get those? Those are so cute. I want to put some on my bed. So I ended up getting some from Home Goods, and it came in a set of two. And I wanted this room to be a little more neutral than the one I had in the Bay Area. The one in the Bay Area was very kind of boho, modern, chic is what I would say it was. I wanted to keep this very, very, very basic in color so i ended up i'm not going to show both of them because they're huge but i ended up getting these huge pillows to, as accent pillows to put on my bed um they're pretty large so they're usually my middle middle pillow <laughs> and um i love them they're a beigey pinky color um which i'm really into kind of creamish um my desk chair is actually cream and that did not match my last bedroom so <laughs> this time it's always in my room so I wanted to make sure it matched um but yeah so I bought these they came together and I think they came to $29.99 so both of the large pillows came together which was nice so then you didn't have to buy them separately let me just throw them <laughs> there they go there's the other one okay the next thing I bought was actually at home goods also um, this is not a decoration, but I use it as a decoration with this mirror right here. It's my yoga mat. I actually do use this for my workout, so it has purpose. Um, but it's just nice to kind of have in your room just as kind of like filler, um, for like empty space and things like that. Um, also found that at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, whatever the mixture. I think the yoga mat was really only like $7.99. So if you need a yoga mat, go look at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. They have really good ones. And then the next thing I bought was also from Home Goods. This was all in one trip, and it is like an end blanket to the foot of your bed. So I stayed with the color scheme, kept it cream, creamy, pinky beige. Um, my comforter that's on my bed, as you guys saw before, is white. So it was really, really, really easy to just choose colors that I liked. Um, so this is always going to be at the foot of my bed or on the corner. Um, this bed actually has like a foot of a bed. You know, it doesn't have like a waterfall ending. It has like a straight up foot thing. I don't know what you call it. But yeah, so that stays at the end of my bed. Um, the next thing I got was actually sheets from Target. Um, the Castle Luna sheets. These ones are the temperature balancing sheets. 
um, they had a couple different kinds and all the same colors, but I just chose temperature balancing because um, I am a hot sleeper. So I'm hoping that these may cool down at night. We'll see. I'll let you, I'll do a little review later. Um, and these, how much was this? I think the sheets were $65.99. I don't know, but I'll link them down below. Um, yeah, and it comes with a flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two standard pillowcases, which is really nice. Um, following the color with the creamy beige pink color. Um, the sheets I have on my bed right now are gray, and they do not match the color scheme, so that's why I had to buy new sheets, which is good anyways. I feel like you should be changing your sheets every once in a while. Um, the next thing I have is two decorative pillows, and I had actually saw them in a Target store, but I ended up buying them online. I had a really hard time finding decorative pillows because I had bought the big ones first and they had a specific design on them. So I was a little scared and a little hesitant to buy something with the design on my big ones. So I ended up finding two of them at Target that I liked and I ended up taking a picture and then coming home and thinking about it. They don't directly match the pillows, but the color scheme is there, people. And it doesn't even look half bad. Um, you'll see it at the end when I do the room haul tour thing, whatever. So this is one of them. This was also from Target. I'm pretty sure this one was $25.99 by itself. I ended up purchasing it on the Target app along with this one. This one was more neutral, so it was easier to blend it with the pillows and the end blanket so that was really nice and I just liked the woven look it was really pretty um I think this one was also around $25.99 um decorative pillows are not cheap so you cannot be a cheap bitch um you really have to spend money on them which I did not know I thought decorative pillows were pretty cheap I was wrong um but yeah Target had a great selection Home Goods always have a, has a great selection um I just feel like sometimes, oh, not Target, Home Goods. Not that they're like plain, but they don't have a lot of like, they don't always look like this. They're pretty standard, um, or they're kind of crazy with things on them. I've seen flamingos, parrots, gnomes, everything on those pillows. So, I would suggest looking at both places, even on Amazon. The only problem I had with Amazon pillows is that usually you have to buy the sham and then the insert to the pillow separately so then your costs start adding up which is what I did in my room in the Bay Area and I ended up spending like 75 to 100 dollars on decorative pillows so you don't need that much I think I had like six on my bed on top of my regular three pillows two pillows so look for something a little cheaper and easier to buy which is good throw these um, we're getting down to the end, thankfully. Um, the last three things are pretty decorative instead of whatever. So while I was at Target for the fifth time looking for things, I came across this lemon candle. Very, very just like basic. I hate when candles have like a picture on it. I like it to be plain. It smells really, really good. The candle was $19.99, $12.99, sorry. That bigger one was $19.99. But it smells really good and it's really pretty to just put on something, which you'll see in the video um, later. Um, but yeah, it smells really good. You always want a good candle in your room. So that was another good purchase. And then the last two are plants. I have this one with the white base and obviously it's fake. I do not know how to take care of plants. Um, and this was from the brand at Target Threshold. Um, it's the faux fiddle leaf tree and it was $40. <laughs> Something that I also didn't expect was fake plants to be so expensive. I was looking at Ikea, I was looking at Target, and I ended up just buying this. Um, there was one at, tar not Target, um, at Ikea that I really, really liked. It was a little bit bigger than this one, um, taller wise, and it was around 80 to 90 dollars. 
so I said I'll just get the littler one for 40 and it's not that much smaller so and it's cute I love the color and it's just something bright brighten up the room a little bit compared to like the usual sterile look um and then the last thing I got was another plant this one goes on my side table um I had it on my desk for a while but I ended up liking it on my nightstand a little bit more so this actually accompanies the candle on my nightstand um and this one was twenty dollars and this one's also from threshold it's the potted faux plant so if you're interested target they always have a great 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 selection of plants lately so if you're looking for something to kind of spruce up your room i would highly suggest target um home goods always has plants too they just come with a little more pizzazz in their planter boxes and i as you can tell i like the simplicity of these ones a little bit more um but everywhere has great options you just have to look for what you're interested in so you can say this room haul was basically sponsored by target and home goods um but that's all i bought so far i am thinking about getting this mirror circle mirror at target which is more like this light wood color and putting it above my desk but yeah so that was my room haul and i will bring you guys on the tour now okay everyone this is the final look as you can see this is my like grab and go section like my purse is over here when i work out i grab everything my weights are behind the mirror and then everything on my bed see it kind of like blends i know i told you guys like it was kind of weird but it blends which i like and then my side table has the little plant the little oops the candle some books i'm reading right now and my earphones and then nothing obviously is over here and then i got my new desk and a new monitor so this is my desk setup right now um this desk this desk hello is actually able to go up and down so i'll show you guys real fast if i can pull this out at the same time as holding the camera don't mind my trash i'm sorry so you just press this button and it lifts And then at this point, it's like my height <laughs> when I stand up, which is nice. So that is my desk setup right now. And then obviously my TV, my little calendar to keep track of birthdays and events. And that's basically it, guys. Um, I know I told you guys I was going to get a mirror for up here. But with my new monitor, I just don't think it's necessary anymore since I'm standing up quite a bit during the workday. So I'm still thinking about it, but still not sure. But yeah, thank you for coming and checking out my little room haul slash tour, y'all. And I gotta say, I really like the sheets. But anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I just wanted to say, I love you. Bye.